Hi, this is Dr. Bob Montez. I'm providing you a bonus video for the anxiety uh, training that I gave on previous videos. This is uh, for those of you who are parents of children who are sleeping in your bedrooms or in your beds. And uh, what we find a lot of times is that this is happening more and more than one uh, would imagine. And so you're probably in that kind of situation where you're thinking, okay, I, I don't even, if I want to go to a psychologist to talk about this, because this is pretty embarrassing. My child's been sleeping in the bed with us as parents for, you know, two years, maybe even longer. Uh, I want you to understand that it's more common than you think. And I think what we could do at this point is really begin the process of dealing with this in a healthier way. Uh, essentially, you want your child out of your bedroom. And that's going to improve a lot of other areas of your life. Not only will it improve your sleep, but it will improve your relationship with your spouse. And so uh, at this point in time, uh, I like to give some advice um, as it relates to this. Now, if your child is uh, fairly young, you know, between the ages of, say, three and 10 years old, uh, I call that fairly young to me. Uh, what you want to do is you want to begin the process of having a discussion with the child that it's no longer acceptable for your child to come into the bedroom with mommy and daddy at night, um, that when you wake up, uh, you need to just try to go back to sleep. If you have to use the bathroom, you can use the bathroom, but then, you know, go back to sleep. A lot of times the issues that are involved with children getting out of bed at night and becoming scared and going into the bedroom uh, is initially because, you know, of things like what we talked about in the other videos. Maybe they are somewhat phobic of, of things going bump in the night. So uh, in that regard, you wanna be able to provide things like you know a small nightlight, uh, maybe a trail to the bathroom, which is kind of like a trail of lights that could be very helpful. Uh, maybe you need to close closet doors. Maybe you need to make sure that there's, um, I think they have those sort of glow in the dark toilet seats. Uh, something that provides a little bit of safety uh, and if those aren't really effective, then uh, what you need to do is, uh, you know, through the discussion with your child, just figure out, okay, what is it that's going on? Because sometimes, uh, rather than it be something they're scared of anymore, it becomes more of a habit for them to get up and come to the bedroom and sleep with you. So uh, once you have an understanding of what's going on, uh, you want to go back to the bedtime routine. Um, the most important thing to do is just go through that basic process of, of um, getting them to sleep where they take, you know, baths, uh, maybe they brush your teeth, and then after that you read some books to them, and then you can be in the bedroom with them and, uh, you know, make sure that they go to bed uh, at that point. So it's, it's the, the bath, the brush, uh, the books, and then bedtime. So the four Bs can be helpful at this, at this point. But uh, there are times when uh, the child just can't get to sleep and that may be part of the problem. So what you wanna do is you want to, uh, if need be, uh, stay with the child until the child falls asleep. So there's different steps of doing this. The first step is maybe you wanna make a little bed next to your child's bed and sleep next to them on the floor or pretend you're sleeping next to them on the floor until you watch for them to go to sleep. And once they go to sleep, then you can quietly get up and leave the room. The uh, second way of doing it is, you know, put a chair in the room, uh, have them, that this would be sort of the next level out the door would be you put the chair in the room and now you're sitting and as the child falls asleep, then you can get out of the chair and then walk to the bedroom. Notice, I'm not telling you to get into the bed with the child until the child falls asleep. You need to be out of the bed and you need to be away from your child and allow the child to learn the process of sleeping on his own or her own. Then uh, the next step would be that, you know, you put the child into the bed after your four Bs and you stand by the door and watch them fall asleep and then you close the door. Um, and you'd be surprised how this process can work because the child begins to get confidence in his or her ability to fall asleep. Um, there are other steps you can take uh, afterwards. Uh, one step could be, for example, you, you, know, you tell the child to go to bed after you do the four Bs, and once the door is closed, then you tell them you have one pass that would allow them to get out uh, of the bedroom. But after that, you know, your passes are done. And you'd be surprised how many children, you know, knowing that they have you know, that one opportunity to get out of the room if they want to, uh, that they will, uh, you know, take advantage of it, but then it's 
maybe not because they feel like, hey, you know, I have, I have a chance to get out uh, if I need it. Uh, the other thing is that once uh, the child is staying in their bedroom, you might want to provide them with a good breakfast the next morning. And certainly you want to say to them, hey, I'm very proud of you for staying in your bedroom last night. Uh, you did not get out of the bed, uh, not even for your free pass. So good job, son, daughter. And uh, that will be extremely positive for them because kids love to hear it when they know they're doing the right thing and when they're following the rules. Those are just some small ideas, some quick ideas for children who are coming into the bedroom. If it's uh, a little bit more advanced and this is something that is becoming a fight in the middle of the night, uh, that's about the time you wanna begin considering getting uh, some help from a psychologist, a child psychologist, or uh, from a child therapist uh, who's had exposure experience to this and can help you along the way with more significant situations. But thanks for your time and uh, have a great and blessed day.